Hello, hello, lights and girls. This is Lewis Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Right, we got a couple of builds to do. And who should we start with? Let's see, what sounds like fun? Uh, right, that one is the custom water cool build. And this one was the one that wasn't in till then, girl? I suppose. Uh, right, I guess we could do accurate water. Right, let's see what we got for her. All right. So we got an Asus Tough Z370 and a 9700K. Sounds like a good start. Let's put in that tough motherboard. Oh yeah, always oh, start with a motherboard, because everything is connected to it. Right, remove that and pick these off. Might as well. Right, I already opened those. Um, right, the 9700K. Oh, I actually have a used 9900K. Cool. I really need to get to doing something with my personal build here too at some point. I just don't really know what I want to do with it. Or should I wait until I get the newer stuff? It's gonna take a while though. I mean, I could build a few iterations too, so it's like not a big deal like that. Um, two G skill, eight gigs, at three thousand six hundred megahertz. Uh, only show the ones that fit. Thank you very much. Alright, so we also went with a Gigabyte 256 SSD M.2. Right in there. And a 700 watt power supply from Silverstone. All right, I think I will need to move these because I think I went with an AIO. Indeed, I did. And I went with an EBGA 1080 this time. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about that. So I don't do EBGA a whole lot. Damn, that is a long boy. <laughs> And the uh, PCI Express port ends here. And that's half the graphics card. You got half of it just hanging out there. Man, I need some sag protection on that. <laughs> um, right -o. Um... Oh, that just clicks in place. I didn't even need to screw anything. It's almost so that I get a little disappointed. Not really. I'm good. Alright. So, what have I forgotten? 
The usual question. Alright, so we got the 9700K. We got the tough board. We got the RAM. We got the Ender 2. We got the power supply. We got the case. And uh, we got the graphics card. And uh, we also got the AIO. Wheat. Well, that means I ain't missing much. So let's put you back on and I guess we could put this one back on too. Alright, let's get to some cabling. And I feel like some plastic orange cables would look really nice in here. Oh yeah, that's so... It's the motherboard. Yes. And we got 30 bucks remaining. After all of that fun. Oh. There are the power connectors here. That's a little bit of a different one. And with that, I also don't like that it's going like that. I'm guessing that is for like all graphics cards, but they should go here because usually the ports are here. But I would have liked if it just went down and out. It looks weird. Um. Well. I'm not the judge. Oh, I kind of am. I'm judging it so hard right now. <laughs> Alright, let's connect up the power button to you. And... Uh, guess all that's left is to put this panel on, put our USB stick in, and... Uh, get a rockin' and rollin'. Oh, something, something like that. Heck yeah. Alright, let's see a roar. Alright, let's see. Can we go for 5.1 gigahertz? I'm pretty sure we can. Probably even 5.2. All right, let's see. Got our system information and our 3D mark and our lighting, our GPU tuner and our CCT. Oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Oh yeah, that CPU's looking cool. Very cool. Well, that is about 81 degrees. That's um, pretty chill. Alright, well, I'm gonna crack you up to 5.2 and see how you handle that and... Uh, if we're lucky, we might actually be able to get up to 5.3, which would be pretty darn awesome. Alright, let's see. Yeah, that is low 50s. That is a good sign. But it looks like we are in uh, need of a little more power. So there we go. Let's try that again.
Okay, I don't think we can get up to 5.3. Cause we got almost eight degrees hotter. And I mean, we're probably gonna get even more than that if I were to go another 100. But just going eight more would be 96. And that is more than I am comfortable with. And also we are kind of high on the power. So yeah, let's just focus on the GPU. And I want to see... Let's get you up to 360. up to 70 well that did like nothing uh 90 okay i'm gonna go up to 420 well that did some stuff 30 all right well now we're getting close well weren't too far off four hundred and thirty one well I'd call that a pretty darn good all right so Get ourselves some static orange lights. Damn. That is looking fine. I mean, the only, I mean, the only thing that kind of sucks is probably the cooler. I mean, I can't do anything about the display. It's like blue and purple. And I kind of wish there were fans with RDB on the, the radiator. That way I could at least set something there, but it's not. But it looked way cooler though. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's time to get a score. So, run it. Okay, all right. I think I already went through these. Yeah, I bought that 1080 Ti. And that, that is something I'm really looking forward to. Let's see. I'm getting a water cool 1070 Ti tomorrow. Well, not in tomorrow's episode, but when I end off the work day here. And that 1080 Ti that I ordered, or bought, not really order when you buy it off of PC Bay, right? Well, that will come next week. All right. Well, that is a steady 60 FPS, if I ever seen one. It's smooth and run fine. I mean, we didn't need a bigger power supply than this, because we're... We could probably have done with our 600 watt. 10,340. Well, that is a really good one. For real. Well, here you are. I really love the new PC. 
a you do. And that looks like we got ourselves some more RAM from Adata. And with that, I'm on the end of this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.